Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Is Isaac Pitbull Cruz on course to be the face of Mexican boxing? The unofficial race to become the face of Mexican boxing is on. Super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez, the country's biggest star in the past decade, has begun to decline according to many observers. That means sooner rather than later someone will supplant him on the coveted throne. The list of potential candidates is not long, leaving Alvarez and longtime star Juan Francisco Estrada aside for his practice. One name that comes to mind is Jamie Mungia, Emmanuel Neverit, Oscar Valdez and William Zapita.And of course their esteeming, powerful 135-pound contender Isaac Cruz, who could be on the rise and leading the field at 25. Oddly enough, it was a setback that brought Pitbull to its current status, its unanimous but controversial decision against punch for pounder Gervonta Davis, as a 23-year-old R pup in December 2021. However, he believes he is still in the process of winning her over. I don't feel like I have the fans in my back pocket, he told Boxing Junkie through a translator. Ivy got to keep grinding. Keep working to get the fans on my side. It s on again in less than two weeks when he takes on the lanky Cabrera on pay-per-view at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Cabrera may have been the third relatively inconspicuous opponent since the Davis fight, following the knockouts of Yuriorcus Gamboa and Eduardo Ramirez Cruz. Cruz sees Cabrera as another important step towards his goal. He insists he has no problem with motivation, even with much bigger fights against the top lightweights on the horizon. I don't overlook anyone, he said. I prepare for every fight the same way because every win. But he also has his sights set on the likes of Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson and Vasily Lomachenko. Those fights, or at least one or two of them, would give Cruz a chance to rise to the aforementioned 135 pounders, as stars in the deep division, though he feels his performance against Davis should have already led to that perception.